Okay, hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Christina and I post content about being a stay-at-home mom in order to encourage you and uplift you in your stay-at-home mom journey. And I also post faith content. Um, so in today's video, I actually wanted to talk about stay-at-home mom identity and why specifically stay-at-home moms struggle with identity. What is it about <clears throat> deciding to become a stay-at-home mom, deciding to stay home full-time with our kids makes us feel as if somehow we've lost who we are. And so I wanted to go over five specific reasons that I think that we feel as if we've lost our identity. So I'm going to just dive right in. Um, I think the number, well, and these, I would say these aren't in any specific order. Um, and I'm pulling these from my blog posts from um, allthingssam.com. So I'll link the, the link to the post below. Um, so they're not in any specific order, but the number one reason I did uh, kind of list on the list was I think a lot of times we struggle with our identity and lost identity is because we misplace our identity in our careers or jobs. I'll say that again. We mistakenly tie and chain our identity to the jobs that we once had. So once we've left our jobs, we feel like somehow we've left behind a big part of who we are. And since we no longer have a, a job title, since we no longer have a career to define us, we start to feel like we've lost our identity. We start to feel like, oh, I'm just a mom, as if being a mom is not enough. And that's the problem because when you leave behind your career or you leave behind your job to be a stay-at-home mom, you are not leaving behind your identity. You're not leaving behind your soul. You're not leaving behind a limb. You're not in any shape or form leaving behind who you are. You're leaving behind a source of income. And yes, maybe for years, your job or your career was a part of who you were. It was a part of your, you know, how you you know, how, how you identified yourself, I guess. You know, when people first meet, one of the first questions they ask is, oh, so what do you do? And I think that's a big part of why a lot of people, not just stay-at-home moms, chain their identities to their careers because of society. We've got to this point where your career and what you do nine to five is one of the most, if not the most important part about who you are. And if you don't have that, oh, well, what do you do? It doesn't make sense. We can't wrap our minds around not having a career to define who we are. So I think that's one of the first reasons, one of the main reasons that we start to feel like we've lost our identity. And if we've lost it in motherhood, because we've tied, we've chained our identity to our careers for so many years. And for so long that when we don't have it anymore, we don't Oh, okay, I'm lost. You're lost. We become lost. Now, so we've got to break that chain. We've got to break that chain that ties us to our careers defining us because they don't. And if you think about it, a lot of people don't ever get their career dream, their, their career of their dream anyway. So if you're tying your identity to a career or a job, like what if you're in a job that you hated? You know, and I think that a lot of people struggle with identity because maybe that's part of it. Like maybe... I know for me for years, and this is going off topic a little bit, but I had in my head a specific role that I wanted to have after I graduated. And I just could not, for the life of me, get a position in that in that role, no matter how many times I applied. And even in that, I start to struggle with my identity. And But our jobs, our income sources don't define us. And I think that our income sources do not define us. And I think as stay-at-home mothers, we have to know that, believe that. Our income sources do not define us. Um, and if you're a Christian, you know who defines us. God does. Number two, um, I think one of the other, second reasons that um, we start to feel like we're losing our identity and we're losing it in motherhood and we feel like we're just moms um, is because we're not making time for ourselves. And when you're not making time for you, and all you're doing is for everybody else, it can be easy to feel like you're nobody. Because I've had moments um, since I've been home these last four years where 
I'll get to a point where I'll put the kids to sleep. I'll put the kitchen to rest and I'll do everything for the day. It's the end of the night. And I have a night where I'm just, I'm free and I don't have anything to do. And I'll sit there like, what do I do? <laughs> I don't have anything else to do. I've done all my chores. My husband might be busy. My kids are asleep and it's just me and life. And I'm literally sitting there like, I don't know what to do. And so I think when we start to not make time for ourselves and make time for the things that we enjoy and making sure that we pour into, continue to pour into ourselves, we do start to lose a sense of who we are. And in those moments when you sit there and you, the kids are being baby, you know, someone's babysitting the kids and you're literally home by yourself and you finally get time to yourself and you, you literally don't know what to do with yourself. That's because you're not spending enough time pouring into you. You're not spending it. You're not investing enough time into who you are. Um, and so I think that in itself, if you have the mo those moments, it could be easy to be like, wow, I've lost my identity. <laughs> so I think one of the solutions for that is we've got to make sure that we're making time, we're forcing time into our really, really busy schedules to pour into ourselves, invest time, invest time into our wants and, and, and interests and make sure you don't lose everything you know don't give up on everything that you love because you will have those moments where you're like wow i don't know what i like anymore i don't know what i do without my kids when my kids aren't home my husband's off busy i literally twiddle my thumbs well that's because you're not investing in yourself anymore and that can give you a sense of lost identity so we've got to make sure we're continuing even even though we pour so much into our families and we put everybody first we've still got to include ourselves in that so we don't start to feel like we've lost who we are and we're losing our identity into just being moms. <coughs> Number three. <clears throat> and I think another reason we feel like we've lost our identity to just being a mom. Um, and I, I think this just a mom thing is, it's because we don't really truly understand the value of being a stay-at-home mom. We don't truly understand the value or appreciate the value of being a stay-at-home mom, even ourselves. And so I think that if we feel like we've lost who we are, we've lost our identity, I'm just a stay-at-home mom. If we start to believe that we're just stay-at-home moms as if, oh, I don't, I'm not much, I'm just a stay-at-home mom. In that verbiage, in that view of yourself, you are revealing that you actually don't value yourself that much you're revealing that you actually don't value your role as a stay-at-home mom as much as maybe you thought you did. When you believe or you tell people, oh, I'm just a stay-at-home mom, or you tell yourself that, oh, I'm just a stay-at-home mom. And you start to feel like, oh, I'm, I'm just a stay-at-home mom. You're literally expressing that my role doesn't really hold value. I'm, I'm, I'm just this thing that doesn't matter that much. And if you're devaluing if you're devaluing your journey and your experience and, and who you are in this season, if you're undervaluing who you are in this season, then of course you're going to feel like your identity is lost because you don't think the identity that you have in this season is worth anything. So if you don't think the identity you have in this season as a stay-at-home mom is worth anything because you're just a stay-at-home mom, then of course your identity as a stay-at-home mom doesn't mean anything. So you feel like you've lost your identity. And once again, it goes back to, it's more important to have a career. And so I think we have to ourselves, I know we talk a lot about how other people don't value us as stay-at-home moms or other people, you know, society, you know, puts more value on the independent woman who's got her suitcase and, you know, going after what she, her dreams. But I think a lot of times in ourselves as stay-at-home mothers, we actually start to believe that ourselves. We actually start to believe what society tells us. We may not say it out loud and we may not want to believe that we do, but I think in our own view of ourselves, our view of our season, our view of our specific role right now and how we speak about ourselves reveals what we think about ourselves and what we think about our stay-at-home mom status and so i think if you are undervaluing and you don't see yourself 
how valuable and important your role is as a stay-at-home mom, it's easy to feel like you've given up your identity. You, your identity is lost, right? Because the identity you now have this holds no weight. It means nothing. We've got to understand and appreciate and really know the value we bring to our families. And number four, um, I think another thing is when we give up our careers, which is our identity, right? Um, to be just stay-at-home moms, I think we don't realize just that being a mom, a stay-at-home mom, being a mom, period, is a job in itself. So when we go from being whatever we were in our careers and then we now transfer and we have a new title of mom, stay-at-home mom, or just mom, right? That's a job. So if you are somebody who feels like you've lost your identity because you gave up your career and you felt like your career gave you value because you were able to do things and get rewarded and you felt like you were doing something of importance and you were, you know, adding to society, contributing to society and you were, well, this goes back to number three, but you're still doing that. You just have a new job. Your new job is mom. Your new job is full-time mother at home with your kids and all of the jobs that you have within that job hold just as much weight and are just as important. So I think that when we don't recognize that being stay-at-home moms, that is a job and you technically kind of still have a career, so to speak, again, we can feel like we gave up, we've lost our identity because it all goes back to feeling like our identity is tied to our careers. And what we're doing now as a stay-at-home mom isn't a job. It's not, an, it's not important enough. Um, and so we don't have an identity anymore. Um, number five, um, I think another reason why we struggle with identity and why we think we lost our identity is because we don't recognize, and this is for my Christian mamas, we don't recognize that our true identity is in Christ. Despite everything, you strip yourself of your career. You strip yourself of your stay-at-home mom job, career, title, whatever you want to call it. You strip yourself of being a mom. You strip yourself of everything. You are a daughter of Christ. You are a daughter of God. And that alone, if that's the only identity you have, that alone has so much weight. It means everything because the creator of existence made you a purpose, put you on this earth. He decided that he wanted you to exist. You, he decided that you were an individual that he wanted to make. He, he wanted you here. He chose for you to be here because only he can give life. And he said, I'm breathing life into you. I'm creating you. I'm making you with all your talent and your personality and everything wrapped up into this person that you are. And your identity is in me. You are my daughter and that's who you are. If you can't anchor yourself in anything else, anchor yourself in that. If, if, you still, if you're struggling with this idea, well, yeah, I, I'm, I just still feel like um, you know, I lost my identity when I, I gave up my career. That's who I was for 10 years or whatever it is. Okay, just know at the base of it all, you are a daughter of Christ. And your identity first and foremost needs to be grounded in that because if you're stripped of everything, I mean, what if you, God forbid, what if you lose your kids? What if you're stripped of everything? One day your kids will grow up and they'll leave the nest and you'll just be sitting here with your husband. Then what? Right? You've got to know who you are in Christ First, you've got to ground yourself in who you are in Christ first. Because if you continue to latch your identity to anything else first before God, before your identity in Jesus, you'll always be kind of chasing identity and losing identity. Because things come and go. Careers come and go. Jobs come and go. Even our children they come into our lives, they grow up and they go. They leave and cleave, right? With their new spouses and their new lives. So if you're continuing to latch your identity onto these, 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 these things that are separate from you, these outside things that aren't technically a part of you, 
And that's, oh, every time you do something new, you got a new season in your life, you meet somebody new or whatever it is, you're latching your identity to this, 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 this. When those things leave your life, you feel like you've lost your identity to those things. You'll always be losing identity. You'll always be in this space where you don't know who you are because you've got to ground yourself in who you actually are first. You are a daughter of Christ. You belong to God. You are his creation first and foremost. So if everything else is stripped from you, you still have purpose. You still have identity. You are not this identityless thing just kind of walking around. If you have nothing else, God sees you, God knows you, and God gives you identity. So I can go on and on about that part. But um, I, I just, I kind of wanted to go over that because I know, like I said, I've had the experience where I'll literally be free finally from the kids and from everything. And I'll sit there and I'm like, free time. And then I literally don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> and then you start to feel like, wow, I don't know who I am. I don't have an identity. I don't have a purpose anymore. And, and I think we've got to first know who we are in Christ, that the extras don't define us. God does. And we've got to pour into ourselves. We've got to remember that we still have to invest in, in ourselves outside of all these other things, outside of our kids, outside of our husbands, so that we don't get to that place of feeling like we don't have identity. And I think a lot of us struggle with that. A lot of us stay at home moms struggle with this thing. They struggle with identity. We struggle with feelings of just losing importance, right? We lose, we've lost who we are. And so we lose value and we lose, lose importance and we lose worth. And when you feel like you've lost your identity, you can go downhill pretty quickly because you feel like you don't matter. And so I'm hoping that just by shining a light on, giving my perspective on these five reasons why I think we lose our identity and how we can kind of combat that, I'm hoping that will free up somebody, open your eyes a little bit and say, okay, no, you're absolutely right. I, I need to ground myself in, my, in the reality that I am first Christ's daughter. You're absolutely right. I need to make sure I'm investing in myself. You're absolutely right. I have to make sure I value my role as a stay-at-home mom and stop looking at my career as my identity. I hope that by hearing these things, you can start to have an internal discussion with yourself and say, okay, which one of these things am I doing? And how can I, what can I do to fight this? Because the truth is those things don't define you. It's not the external things that define you. It's the internal God. It's 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 the Holy Spirit. It's Jesus Christ, first and foremost, that defines us. And um, like I said, even if you're not a Christian, careers don't define you. So um, I hope that was helpful in some way. I hope that that kind of freed somebody up from whatever chain they've chained, whatever they've chained their identity to. I hope that you this video helps you sever that chain. So that you know that you still matter, you still have importance, you still have ident identity, even if you don't have a career. And um, I really hope that blesses somebody. I really hope that that word just frees somebody up as they watch this video. So thank you for watching. I hope this wasn't too all over the place. I'm still kind of new at YouTube, but um, I hope God blesses you. I will put the link to the blog, po uh, the blog post below. And um, like, subscribe, and I hope um, you will continue to watch my videos. God bless.